welcome back to our channel. It's the morning and we are off to do our food shop today in the supermarket. And we thought we'd film for you three different supermarket shops, doing a weekly food shop in each one and then comparing the prices at the end. So it will hopefully give you a all round view of how much each supermarket comes to. Um, and yeah, just a little look into where we do our shopping. Um, there are three different places we do our shopping, but we tend to just do it in two of these places that I'm about to mention. So the first one is La Colonia. It's a slightly more upmarket supermarket out here and it has everything, all the Western foods and yeah, it's kind of, if you're from the UK, it's a bit like Waitrose and I'm not sure in America <laughs> what, what supermarkets you guys have there, but yeah, it's um, a pretty upmarket, slightly more expensive place to shop. So that's where we're going today. Um, and then we will be taking you to Maxi Parley, which is more of a budget supermarket. So you will find most things there, but it's hit and miss. Like not everything is fully stocked and it is pretty cheap, but obviously the quality, um, especially in the vegetables and things is really noticeable. The third place that we will be taking you is the market. Now, the market is quite an experience. It's colourful, lots of people, very loud and very cheap and affordable. And often the best food is there. The organic produce, all of those things you can be found in the market. But you can't really do your weekly food shop there um, because of sauces, oils, all sorts of things you may need. So we do some of our shopping there. We get the fresh produce like our fruit and vegetables, but we don't do the entire food shop so we'll be taking you there and we'll show you what we get from that so you have an idea of prices from the local Mercado Mercado right enough of me rambling away let's go to the first supermarket just on our way to the supermarket and it looks like the guy in front has broken down, his motorbike has broken down and his friend is pushing him along. Here we are in La Colonia, um, just giving you guys an idea of what a sort of upmarket supermarket looks like out here. Um, yeah, as you can see, loads of fresh fruit and vegetables, everything you need. We are now in La Colonia and the service here in La Colonia is quite something else. You get your shopping taken to your car for you and the bags are free and it is quite a different um, environment and service you receive. As you can see, the food here is really, really nicely presented. The vegetables look delicious. And yeah, there's pretty much everything that you could get in your home country here in La Colonia. But that does come at a price. Everything is a little bit more expensive here. And most things you will find slightly more here than anywhere else. We are just here in Maxi Parley, another shop um, to show you guys. This one is a slightly more affordable place. Um, you can get everything here, but depending on the time of day, you might you might have run out of um, they might have run out of fruit and vegetables here. So a slightly more budget option is to get all your like rice and beans from these um, things here. You literally just add it into your bag. And you weigh it over here. So this is called chayote and it's a local vegetable and yeah, it's a staple in a lot of our meals. It's really, really delicious. So 
something very important, but it's not quite British tea. Quite the same as La Colonia, you do miss out on quite a few of the different fruits and vegetables. So this is our full trolley here. Hello. So after shopping at the first two supermarkets, we then went straight to the local market to buy our fresh fruit and vegetables. The market's a really good place to get lovely local produce at really reasonable prices. And it's always good to negotiate on price while you're there. And it's a beautiful, lovely sunny day here in Nicaragua and we're enjoying the walk around. The market is a lot quieter today because it's a Sunday. Usually it's heaving with people, but we chose a slightly quieter day to do the filming. As you can see here, we are picking up a little snack. Quanto es? 40. 40. This little tiny meal came to 40 cordobas. Do you want any of that stuff? Salad? No, solo el carne. <laughs> just done some shopping at the market we're trying to film as much as possible but there's so many people around so it is kind of hard to do a video for you guys um, and I have a very wriggly toddler but yeah we just got a whole load of vegetables for under three pounds when I get home I can show you a little bit more Hi guys, so we just got back from the market and we've now done all three of our shops. We've been to Maxi Parley, La Colonia and the market. Starting off with the rice, we got six pounds of rice here which should last us a week. Um, we do eat a lot of rice so I'm not entirely sure if that will get us through the week but it probably will. Um, right, and we have a lovely big cabbage here. And a lot of the vegetables in the market are actually organic. It's always good to ask and sometimes they will tell you where it's grown and whether it's local. We've got a really, really big lettuce. <laughs> this is a squash. Um, it's a bit like a chayote, but I think it's called something similar. Um, I don't actually know the name, but yeah, this is really, really nice. Lots of flavour and sweetness to it. We got a pound of ginger because I think I said in my last video, I love to make a ginger shot with lemon. Got some potatoes, a pound of potatoes, two pounds of onions. And a pound of carrots. That is everything we got for $9. As you can see, there's plenty of food here. And it is actually really fun picking your fresh food from a market, but you do have to take, in, take into consideration that it's actually really busy in the market and you don't always get everything you need. The receipt that you can see here on the screen is from the most expensive shop, La Colonia. Our entire weekly shop came to 2,371 Cordoba, which comes to 65 US dollars. We usually try and stick to a budget of under $70 a week on food. Obviously, if we do want to get something extra or a few more snacks, then, then it would go up. The prices you guys are seeing here on the table are in US dollars and we are comparing the three supermarkets here, La Colonia, Maxi Parley and The Market. We have picked some common foods here, tomato, rice, potatoes, carrots, cabbage, banana, bacon and chicken fillet. Please feel free to pause the video now if you'd like to have a look at the full table. As you can probably see from the table, most items are a lot more expensive from La Colonia and cheapest at the market. And Maxi Parley being closer to the market than La Colonia on prices. 
However, a couple of items are more expensive at the market than La Colonia. Although I have to say prices tend to change depending on how good you are at negotiating. Thanks so much for watching our video today guys explaining to you all about shopping here in Nicaragua and the different supermarkets. As you can see it's quite a different experience between each place that we shop today and for me personally I like to do a mixture of La Colonia and the, the market um, but I know some people just shop completely in La Colonia and if that's for you then that's great. Please feel free to give this video a like and subscribe, it does really help us out with our channel. And yeah, I really look forward to seeing you in our next video. I almost forgot guys, I need to uh, sign off with my husband and beautiful boy. <laughs> Say goodbye guys. Bye everyone. Bye, you gonna wave? Bye, see you soon. <laughs>